Well, good evening, race fans. Uh, I'm Rob Dyer, and I'll be uh, preparing the introductions for tonight's Cab Direct Championship meeting between the home side, the Paul Wessex Marine Pirates, and the visitors tonight, the Attis Insurance Scunthorpe Scorpions. Pirates' first home meeting in the league this year, and uh, they're coming up against a side who've made a number of changes over the winter and some further enforced changes in the first weeks of the season. We'll cover those in just a moment's time. But to tell you that uh, over the weekend, the Pirates went up to Redcar and secured an impressive away win up there on Teesside to uh, add to their six-point advantage that they took in the BSN semi-final here against Redcar last week. And they've progressed through to the BSN final, which will take place at the end of July, beginning of August, the opposition coming in the shape of the Glasgow Tigers. Now, uh, looking at the pool side, we've got to say that uh, there's a big hit this week because Richard Lawson is going to be missing. He took a heavy tumble at Leicester on Monday, uh, has been detained in hospital for a couple of days. We wish Richard the very speediest of recoveries. But tonight, it's going to be a guest rider in Richard's place, and that comes in the form of Justin Sedgman. Up at the top of the order, Steve Worrell will lead off and uh, we welcome back Anders Rowe into the number two berth. Anders, who's been on the continent over the uh, last couple of weeks and putting in some good scores out there. So we hope that he can bring those back to Paul Stadium this evening. Uh, down at number three, Ben Cook will have a fantastic performance at Redcar with 15 points. He backed that up with a Premiership 16-point haul on Monday night and is in absolutely blistering form, one of the uh, best riders in both divisions at the moment. Zach Cook, uh, with his brother in the engine room, uh, a master at Redcar and uh, one who's going to be putting big points on the board for sure. And of course, the ever-reliable reserve pairing, Carl Newman and Adam Roynan for the Pirates tonight. Over with the Scunthorpe Scorpions, well, they were hit by an early season uh, blow when Zane Kennedy had to pull out of their proposed lineup. He suffered a mountain bike accident over in Oz and uh, a quick rearrangement of the Scunthorpe Scorpion side has seen a couple of changes with the unfortunate Joe Thompson having to step out of proceedings up there at the Eddie Wright Raceway. And uh, they brought in Nathan Ablett, former Paul Pat favourite from last year, of course. He'll be assured of a good welcome tonight. And uh, Max Clegg to uh, bolster their lineup. Of course, they run with Ryan Douglas at number one, who we've seen here on a couple of occasions recently. Always a great scorer and uh, a real talisman for the visiting Scorpions tonight. Michael Palm Toft unfortunately missing on Danish duty, so Simon Lambert moves down to the number three berth. Jake Allen also fills a heat leader berth and the uh, second reserve position at number seven. Danger man, Connor Mountain, who could well prove to be a thorn in the pirate side tonight. It's been a beautiful late spring day here in Poole. The sun's out, the track staff are working like crazy to get the circuit uh, into uh, great condition for the first of the league fixtures here at Poole Stadium this evening. Well, we've come down to pit lane and man of the moment, Ben Cook's with us. Ben, uh, what a great week you've had in the past uh, seven days. Just talk us through uh, how you've seen it. Yeah, so far it's been good. I uh, can't complain at all. Uh, getting plenty of laps in, plenty of rides and um, yeah, we got the first win with Peterborough on Monday, which is also good and been solid with Poole as well. We got the good away win uh, with Red Car and yeah, everything's going good at the moment. All the things I'm reading is that you've got a lot of speed, a lot of power there. Do you feel it yourself? Yeah, definitely. Uh, always good to have that. And um, making starts is just adds to it and uh, makes your life a lot easier too, uh, especially in the top league. It's um, pretty tough if you don't make the start. So you soon learn to, um, yeah, to start making starts. So here at Paul, we're about 10 meetings into the season. Everybody had a chance to bed in and uh, it looks like it's uh, on course for another successful season. Definitely. Um, all the boys get along well. Uh, there's a few familiar faces and uh, Chuck's been good. Um, can't complain there and we've got off to a good start, which always helps as well. So, um, yeah, it's so far so good. And how's your calendar looking going forward? Have you got plenty of meetings coming up? Yeah, there's uh, been a lot of rearrangements with uh, rain offs and stuff, but uh, I think I've got three next week, three the week after. So 
yeah, plenty on, and um, yeah, I'm sure we'll only get busier. Well, we kick off the championship season tonight, uh, aiming for another double, as it were, for 2023. What are your assessment of the prospects for the Pirates? Yeah, uh, first one as a league fixture tonight. So, um, yeah, we need to get that off to a good start as well, get off to a win, and uh, there's no reason why we can't. And, uh, yeah, like I said, it's a long season ahead, but you've got to be there at the end, and that's when it counts. So, yeah, small steps at the start, but, yeah, make sure we're there for the end. And as always, I'm going to ask you for a message for the folks back home who are no doubt watching in. Yeah, mum and dad will be watching back in. So, um, yeah, it's good to good for them to be able to watch it all. And, um, yeah, they'll be here soon to uh, see it live again. And, um, yeah, it's good. Well, it's brilliant. Have a great night, Ben. Your form's been fantastic. Please Thank keep you. it going. Cheers. Thank you very much. OK, well, a chance to get down to pit lane. And uh, Rob Godfrey is with us from the Scunthorpe Scorpions, team manager on the night. I am, yes, tonight. St standing in for David. Yes. David, um, David <laughs> Rob. <laughs> Rob. Yes. Thanks for giving up the time to have a no quick No problem word. at all. Um, tell us about your team planning over the winter and the obvious changes that have taken place because of various things along the way. Yeah, obviously we put a good one, seven uh, uh, together and then got that phone call probably two weeks before the uh, season started that Zane had had a, mo had a, a mountain bike accident actually. Uh, hit a rock and broke his back so that devastated everything that we had done fortunately then there was limited options uh, I think Paul had taken Anders Rowe that probably could have fitted um, so we had to start the season with RR um, we had a 28 day facility and then the 28 day facility ran out it was uh, they gave us notice it was going to run out and we had to make a change I tried everybody I begged Drew Kemp I absolutely begged him. I know Paul had um, spoken to him about replacing, um, I can't remember who they got in, Jack, Jack Thomas, um, but he wouldn't come here and, and he wouldn't come to me. So he was really the only creditable option at that time. And then unfortunately or fortunately, we had to make a change and, it, and we had to bring Matt Slag in. Which was very tough on Joe Thompson. It was very tough on Joe Thompson because he'd done absolutely nothing wrong. Um, Obviously, Nathan had to fit in alongside him. There was no four pointers, so that's where we see our, find ourselves today. Um, that's not where the story will end because I am determined this year, as I was determined at the start, to be in the playoffs and to win the league. So I am taking it, and we've been this last week looking at other options, and we're going to make some more changes soon. So if things don't improve, but there aren't very many spare pieces of the jigsaw to fit in? Ah, well, depends where you look. Depends where you look in the box. If you look outside the box, as we have been doing this last week, there's plenty of spare jigsaw pieces. Tonight you come without Michael, yes. which is a, a blow, obviously, because uh, I think he was probably one of your cornerstones in building the side for 2023. Yeah, as, in, as you can see, Michael, on his average, there was one credible option and it was um, Tom Brennan. But unfortunately, Tom didn't return the calls and take the guest booking tonight. On, on Michael's average, there was no other creditable option. So we've had to go with RR. Didn't know until Monday that Michael would be missing. So um, we've slotted RR in at number two. We, anyone can take a ride and we're going to have the try and give it the uh, red car effect like you did, had last week so that, that's the plan one man who could uh, deliver the red car effect is ryan douglas who's been outstanding for you uh, absolutely and uh, ryan's on notice that he'll be having seven rides tonight so that is the plan the plan is to get as close to this it's all important with the bonus points this year i think the league's going to be determined the top, definitely top six and top two three is going to be determined on how many bonus points you can get at your home track so uh, it's to keep it tight and to uh, collect the bonus point when we go back to the Eddie Wright Raceway. Can I just ask you to put your BSPL hat on for a second and um, there's a lot of doom and gloom around the sport doom. but there are some bright shoots also to burn you with a sponsorship because Sports Insure have come in, Cab Direct have come in so they, those people must see a bright light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, it's absolutely brilliant that the, for the first year and the National League sponsored this year, uh, that all three leagues are sponsored. Um, it is step one of many for other, other people to see the value of that sponsorship, other bigger companies, and to, um, to have a bidding war. That would be great, absolutely, for years 
um, going forward. So that, that is the plan. Fantastic that to Sports Insure, part of the Aon Group, have come in and took the, the Premiership. And Cab Direct, which we all know is, is associated with Peter Senna and his, and his companies, but it is a stepping stone. They see the value. We hope we're delivering for them in, in social media and, and awareness of, of what they do. And, it, and it's all about working together as partnership for, for all the three leagues with the, with the sponsors to, so that they get value out of it and we get value out of it. And for next year, it's a lot easier to, to get a, a, either continue the sponsorship or get different sponsors. Well, thanks for those good words. No problem. Uh, we hope that the light at the end of that tunnel is continuing to shine bright. It will. And with your leadership and guidance oh, I'm sure we will I don't get know there about that I don't know about that end. I just I don't know about that I'm just one person that's uh, that's among among others so many thanks for your time no problem at all thank enjoy, you enjoy your evening I will thank you now let's take a look at the team lineups for tonight's uh, Cap Direct Championship meeting and uh, it's the Paul West Marine Pirates of course home side tonight with Steve Worrell opening up uh, Skipper the side at number one Anders Rowe comes back into the side at number two. He's been away for a week or two on the continent, but Anders takes up that number two berth. The engine room, three and four, the Cook brothers. Ben Cook in such great form at the moment, and he's uh, being backed up all the way by his brother, Zach. A guest rider tonight at number five, Justin Sedgman, comes in to replace the uh, injured uh, Richard Lawson. Richard, who took a big crash on Monday night at Leicester. So Justin steps in, and the uh, reserve pairing, Always good for points on this track. Carl Newman at number six and Adam Roynan at number seven. Neil Middleditch, as always, the team manager for the Pirates. Visiting Scunthorpe Scorpions, sponsored by Attis Insurance, will have uh, the impressive Ryan Douglas going at number one. Douglas, who was here a couple of weeks ago, guesting for the Pirates and sussing out the track ready for tonight. Rider replacement in operation at number two for the absent Michael Palm Toft, who's in Denmark completing a league fixture in the Danish league. Moving down to number three and captaining the side is uh, the ever-pressing Simon Lambert. The new addition to the Scorpion side at number four is Max Clegg, former National League Riders champion. Jake Allen takes up the number five berth tonight, uh, shuffling around the order a little bit for the Scorpions, but uh, Jake's a very talented and hard as teak Aussie, so uh, he'll be a, a thorn in the pirate side for sure. Welcoming back Nathan Ablett to the Paul Stadium, uh, but this time as a Scunthorpe Scorpion, he takes the number six reserve jacket and uh, down at number seven, a rider with uh, bags of potential at 4.72 average, that's Connor Mountain who's moved over from the Leicester Lions during the course of the winter. The team manager for Scunthorpe is uh, Rob Godbury, the BSPL chairman. Tonight's meeting referee is Christina Turnbull and the meeting sponsor is Bias Technology. Let's welcome to the stadium the Attis Insurance Scunthorpe Scorpions. And at number seven for the Scorpions we start with a new recruit for them in 2023. Last year he was a Leicester Lion and if the team manager was uh, in my shape and form, I would definitely have him in my squad. An attractive 4.72 average. Welcome, Connor Mountain. <laughs> and number six is a young man who you took to your hearts as a pirate last year, and he now gets another chance at the championship with the Scully side. Come back to Paul and say welcome, Nathan Abler. Riding at number five and returning to the Eddie Wright Raceway this season in a heat leader role. You might have heard him on the television at the weekend on commentary duty with the British Speedway Network. It's the toughest team Aussie, Jake Allen. <laughs> and the number four berth, the former British under 19 and National League Riders Champion. Just signed in the Scorpion side recently after their mid-time reshuffle. Give a warm welcome to Max. Play. Riding out of position probably tonight in the number three slot. It's not his usual berth in the team, but that won't face the uh, all action Scunthorpe skipper Simon Lambert. 
Scorpions number two slot tonight will be covered by the right replacement facility for Michael Palmtop, who is needed in Denmark. Which leaves us with just one rider to introduce to you. And what a really good rider he is. He was here two weeks ago and helping the Pirates out on that occasion against Swindon. And he's back tonight as the Scorpions talisman. Ladies and gentlemen, show your appreciation please for flying Ryan Douglas. And now, you good people of Dorset and Dion, clap your hands, stamp your feet, wave your scarves, hoot and holler to welcome home your British Speedway Network tournament finalists after a stunning win at the weekend for Wessex Marine Paul Parra. And first up, it's going to be a man with a big grin on his face this evening with a page seven return at Redcast. It's certainly great to see the bionic man back in form, Adam Reynolds. <laughs> now last Wednesday proved to be one busy night for this young man with seven rides and ten valuable points. And I'm sure uh, he's hoping for something a little more relaxing this evening. So folks, say well done to our own Carl Newman. <laughs> At number five in the programme, uh, Richard Lawson is down to ride. Of course, uh, he's uh, missing because of injury and uh, his replacement tonight will be Justin Sedgman. Justin is here for to just sorting one or two mechanical issues in the pits. So uh, give a welcome to our uh, guest for the evening. Justin Sedgman. <laughs> Riding at number four is a young man whose progress this year is almost hidden by the exploits of others. A true trump card for us at Red Car on Saturday. And deserving of all your support, please welcome Zach Good. And at number three, our own Pocket Rocket, one of the outstanding riders in either league so far this season. He needs no introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, Ben Cook! <laughs> at number two, and it seems ages since we saw him here at Wimborne Road, sporting the Pirates cover. However, after a busy weekend on the continent, and some good results to boot. It should be a real confidence booster for our own Anders Rowe. <laughs> and finally, on to our number one and captain, still working hard to capture his absolute best form. And when he does, well, watch out. Please welcome Steve Worrell. So here we go for the cost of the toy with uh, Simon and Steve together out on track. Or is going to spin the coin? So the Scorpions win the toss. They take a two and four in hit number one. Two and four in hit number one. So on the inside, we have Anders Rowe. He's in blue for the Pirates in gate two. Coming in is the RR, first ride, Simon Lambert for the Scorpions. In gate three, in red, is Stevie Worrell, the Pirates captain. And in gate four, the hard charging, fast start in Ryan Douglas. He's in white for the Scorpions. And he's the danger man to the Pirates in this heat. Lambert, the last to come in for the Scorpions. Heat one, the tapes are up and away we go. And it's a good start from Douglas on the outside and right alongside him is Stevie Worrell on the inside, the shoulder to shoulder. But Douglas goes around the outside, but at the back, Simon Lambert charges under Anders Road to take the third spot. So it's the Scorpions working hard on lap one in the first few corners to get themselves into a position of 4-2. Last week, there was a little overwatered at the start of the meeting. 
but it doesn't look any that way today. It's just kicking up already in heat one. But it's Douglas out front, just as he thought he would. They've taken gate four when it's probably at its best in the early part of the meeting. And it's a win for Douglas in white, red, yellow and blue as they go over the line. It's a 4-2 heat advantage to the Scorpions. It was a race win for Ryan Douglas in white for the Scorpions. In second was Steve Worrell in red for the Pirates. In third, hard charging Simon Lambert there on turn three. He picked up the point and at four, in fourth was Anders Rowe at the back. So, our progressive score after heat one is two to the Pirates and four to the Scorpions. Here's your race lineup for heat two. As I said, compact lifting services, the sponsors in gate one in white, Nathan Ablett, former Pirate in gate two in Red for the Pirates is Carl Newman. In gate three is Connor Mountain in yellow for the Scorpions. And in gate four in blue is Adam Roynan. So here we go then. Riders finally decided it was time to come to tapes. It's heat two. Tapes are up and away we go. And it looks like a good one from Newman off of two. He gets there, Royden's trying the outside run and he's gone right round the outside of Ablett but got his run stopped by Connor Mountain there in yellow. But it's Newman out front, Mountain second. Royden third, Royden looking quick. Ablett at the back now having a little dig at Royden as well. But it's Newman out front in red, Royden's overlocked. Trying to cut back up on some dirt up the Harvey Avenue to get a bit of grip. That's the inside of Tomb 4, of those of you who haven't watched before. And Newman comes round to take the last lap flag. Looks pretty comfortable. I have to say, Royden was looking good in third there, but Connor Mountain at seven. He looks a threat, but it's a win in red for Kyle Newman for the Pirates, followed by yellow, blue, and white. Here comes Kyle Newman on, on his lap of honor. It's a 4 2 heat advantage there to the Pirates. So here's the confirmation of the Heat 2 result. You know, it was a win for Carl Newman in red. In second, in yellow, was Connor Mountain for the Scorpions. In third, the all-important point for Adam Roynan in blue for the Pirates. And at the back, Nathan Ablett, who was not a distance away. Uh, so he'll be one to look out for if the meeting goes on. So the progressive score after Heat 2 is all level. Six to the Pirates and six to the Scorpions. And here you go, the action from the start. Newman makes it. Royne and goes around the outside. To be fair, Ablett got cut off a little bit by Connor Mountain on the inside. He had a good run there and had to put the brakes on. But from there, Newman was not to be headed. And on the inside in gate one in blue for the Pool Pirates is Zach Cook. In gate two. For the second time this evening is Simon Lambert in white for the Scorpions. In gate three, the pocket rocket, Ben Cook. It's his first ride. He's in red. And uh, in gate four is Max Clegg in yellow for the Scorpions. So here we go. Tapes are up on heat three. And it's a good start from the Scorpions. And it's a slide off in red from Ben Cook. He's up, but the Scorpions are still out front. It's Simon Lambert, he's leading it with the advantage of having ridden. And it's Max Clegg in second. But 
Zach Cook is all over his exhaust pipe, waiting for a mistake. Plug steps a little wide. Cook comes up the inside. A clean, fair move. And now Cook will take chase to Simon Lambert. But he only has a lap and a bit to do something. And he is actually catching him. Could this be a heroic ride from Zach Cook? He's gone wide. Is he now going to cut up tight? Big move around the outside. Lambert has it covered. It's a win for Lambert in white. Second was blue. Third was yellow. And at the back was red. There's your winner, Simon Lambert. Four points from two rides. Sensible use of the RR there from the Scorpions management. Bringing Lambert in in heat one so that he had to go at the track before he ride in heat three. Again, clever move. My the win went to Simon Lambert in white in second. Backed up by his partner, Max Clegg, in yellow. Third was Max Clegg and fourth was Ben Cook. So, here's your lineup on the inside in blue. Here's Adam Roynan. He's picked up a point from his first ride. In second, in gate two, in yellow, is Connor Mountain. He picked up a couple. In third, in gate three, is Justin Sedgman. His first ride out, the RIs, in guesting for the injured Richard Lawson this evening. And in white on the outside is Jake Allen for the Scorpions. So, we're ready for Heat 4 to get underway. Our referee lets the tapes go, and away we go, and Jake Allen, oh, he had a good start, but was alongside the rider in red, Sedgman. Sedgman pushed it wide a little bit, then stayed wide. And then Connor Mountain came up the inside, but Sedgman's gone back round the outside of him. Roynan's got smoke pouring from his bike, so it looks like he's got an engine problem. But it's Sedgman out front in red. The guest for the Pirates this evening for the Rocket Man. Doing a good job. He was elbow to elbow there with Jake. Allen going into the first turn. And he managed to keep it on and keep it down the back straight because Connor Mountain had got under him while he was dealing with Jake. He'd crept around the inside. It's Sedgman in red for the Pirates, comes and takes the win. In second was yellow and third was white. It's a three-all heat score. There's your race winner, Justin Sedgman. The Scorpions still lead by two points. And here's your Heat 4 confirmation of the result. It's first in red for Justin Sedgman for the Pirates. In second, in yellow was Connor Mountain in for the Scorpions. In third was Jake Allen for the Scorpions in white. And at the back, he failed to finish, was Adam Roynan in blue for the Pirates. So the, the progressive Heat score after heat, uh, heat, heat 4 is 11 to the Pirates and 13 to the Scorpions. On the inside, in yellow, in gate one for the Scorpions is Connor Mountain. In gate two, in red for the Pirates is Ben Cook. In gate three is Ryan Douglas, the danger man from the Scorpions. In white and in gate four in blue is Zach Cook for the Pirates. The two minute clock counts down. Zach Cook's the last to come in. The track has been graded. It's Heat 5. It's sponsored by Trithowans. 
and away it goes. And it's elbow to elbow, Ben Cook. He's now trying to take Dougie wide and squeeze him, but he leaves him racing room. Fair as you like. And Dougie takes the chance to go around the outside of him. Zach Cook comes into third place. And it's Connor Mountain after a few elbows with Ben Cook. Gets pushed to the back. But Ben Cook, we saw him slackening his tyre off in the pits. He's not giving this one up. He's going in nice and quick to these turns, but the grade means there are there's a little bit of dirt on the inside, a little bit mid-track. And Dougie's keeping his wheel right on the edge of that, and he knows that's going to make him very difficult to pass. But it's all about packing out the minor places. And Paul Sapp in second and third means that the Scorpions aren't getting away. It's a win for Ryan Douglas in white. Then followed by red, blue, and yellow. It's a three all heat score is the result. Heat five result, as you can see, a three all race score. And it's a win for Ryan Douglas in white. In second was Ben Cook for the Pirates in red. In third was Zach Cook packing in the minor placing. He picks up the solitary point in blue. And at the back, Connor Mountain, after being a bit manhandled going into the first corner with a few elbows, he's in yellow and finishes at the back. So the progressive score after heat five is 14 to the Pirates, 16 to the Scorpions. Here we see what's the two riders on the inside. Oh, I see what happened. Connor Mountain was trying to go a little bit over to the right. Ben Cook kept himself straight. There was a few elbows there. And while Ben was dealing with that, he stayed tight. And Brian uh, Douglas went straight around the outside. Here is the Heat 6 lineup in red for the Pirates. Is the captain, Steve Worrell, on the inside in gate one. In gate two, Jake Allen in white for the Scorpions. In gate three, in blue is Anders Rowe. He failed to score first time out. Unusual for him. He's in blue. And in gate four, in yellow, is former fans favourite Nathan Ablett for the Scorpions. And I really do hope that he's one that's going to benefit new to the Scorpions from the start of the month. I'm sure he'll be trying his utmost. So four points for them in this race. Here we go. It's heat six. Takes her up and away we go. And it's a fairly even break if I'm honest. But it's Warrell around the inside, there's nothing there. And round him, in white, went Jake Allen. So Allen goes round Warrell. And once again, it's Pirates second and third. In blue there is Anders Rowe. And at the back, Nathan Ablett. I'm not sure Jake Allen's that much quicker than Worrell, but he's riding a line that is quicker than Worrell. So Worrell's got to do something to go round him, buy him. Like I said, we had a drag grade after heat four, and there's still some grip low down. And as we headed to the last lap, Worrell is running out of time. Caught a bike length there, but probably more because Jake Allen had made a mistake. More than Warren had caught him, and it's a win in white for Allen, followed by red, blue, and yellow. Good win there for Jake Allen. Here is the confirmation of your heat six result. It was a three all heat score with the win going to Jake Allen in white for the Scorpions. In second in red was Steve Worrell for the Pirates. In third in blue was Anders Rowe for the Pirates. And at the back, not for the lack of trying, was Nathan Ablett in yellow for the Scorpions and the progressive score as we go through the meeting here after heat six it's 17 to the Pirates and 19 to the Scorpions they hold on to that slight two-point lead and here we go with the start it was a very even break and it looked like Steve Worrell had done the business there but Alan had just let the bike drift out to the dirt and he hit that dirt line just on the pit turn and he was away. 
So here we go, Simon Lambert in gate one. Gate two in red is Justin Sesman for the Pirates. In gate three in yellow is Max Clegg for the Scorpions. And in gate four, hometown hero Carl Newman. He's in blue for the Pirates. Here we go then. Heat seven, sponsored by Wessex Marine. Seven is well and truly underway. And it's Sedgman that gets going on the inside first. He blocks the one of the rider in right, Simon Lambert. But the Scorpions pack the minor placings. And now here comes Newman trying to run up the Harvey Avenue to get the rider in yellow. Oh, he's lifted, nearly ran into Lambert. Lambert, how oh, he managed to hold on to that. Lambert's now penning Kyle Newman. That's where all the action is in second and third. Newman looks quicker than Lambert. Newman's now gone wide, wide, wide to try and find some speed. Trying to lengthen the straights. But he's going to have to be careful because Clegg is there in yellow and he's ready to pounce at any moment. Newman gets a good run off of turn two. But Lambert's riding a clever line here. Newman's riding a tight line. He just can't seem to get alongside. Newman looks the quicker rider in blue. But Lambert's holding on for his team. He's the captain. Newman comes up the inside. It's clean, fair racing. Is he going to get to the line? It's going to be a sprint to the line, but it's Lambert. Who gets there in white? So it's red, white, blue, and yellow. What a race. The crowd roaring. It's a 4-2 heat score for Newman's troubles there to get in that odd point. What a ride. Here's the man who won the heat. A replacement for Richard Lawson this evening. And he's replacing Richard Lawson very well because I think two heat wins are what we'd expected from Lawson. So here's your heat seven result. It's a 4 2 heat score to the Pirates. It's a win in red for Justin Sedgman for the Pirates in second in white. And a gallant, gallant fight there from the Scorpions captain, Simon Lambert, in blue in third was Carl Newman, he tried everything he knew here at the Wimborne Road Track but couldn't get by Lambert and in fourth was Max Clegg in yellow. The result of that means after heat seven, the match score is equal and even. It's 21 points apiece. And here we go, Sedger goes well off the inside, clamps Lambert. Lambert was only half a bike apart. And then Max Clegg goes around the outside. Newman gets a big lift up the inside. I think maybe Lambert pushed Clegg a little bit wide there to allow Newman to come up the inside. He's hit a bit of grippy stuff that nobody's ridden on already. And so here's the gate stats for this evening. Just that solitary win from gate four. That was Ryan Douglas, uh, uh, early doors. And it looks like gate one tonight is a bit of a nightmare. They're only six points from gate one. And it looks like four and two are the favourable two together on the tally of points. On the inside in yellow is Connor Mountain. He's picked up four points for the Scorpions tonight so far. In gate two is Carl Newman, the hard-charging rider in blue for the Pirates. He's picked up four points tonight. Ryan Douglas picked up a couple of wins already this evening. He's in gate three in white and always the danger man. And in gate four is Anders Rowe in red for the Pirates. He's picked up one plus a bonus. Here we go then. It's heat eight, sponsored by Bournemouth Betting Centre. And away it goes, and it looks like Douglas has got a rocket. And Max Clegg has made a good one off the inside. The Scorpions are right there, one and two. It's Anders Road trying to brave move down the back straight. He gets round Clegg. It's now down to Newman to try and do damage limitation here. Rob Godfrey said earlier in the interviews that he was looking to get people on aggregate when he got them back home. And bonus points were going to be the big difference. And maybe he's right. And the way the team are riding this evening, he has to be pleased. Newman trying everything he can, going wide there at the back, but it's Douglas at the front. He's long gone in white for the Scorpions as he comes to the last lap. Anders Rowe seems to be holding Max Clegg up a little bit, if you ask me. 
Clegg's gone in wide, trying to cut back up the inside of Rowe. Rowe looks over his shoulder and got that covered. But out front, oblivious to all that, is Brian Douglas in white. Red, yellow and blue. Over the line for the third winning ride on the evening for Scorpions. It's a 4-2 heat advantage to the Scorpions. And they open up a two-point lead once more. Here's your race winner. Ryan Douglas. What a formidable opponent he is to any team. Here's the 8 result. It was a 4-2 heat advantage to the Scorpions with a win for Ryan Douglas in white. He picks up three points for the Scorpions. In second in red was Anders Rowe for the Pirates. In third was Connor Mountain for the Scorpions and in fourth was Carl Newman on this occasion for the Pirates. So our match score after heat eight is 23 to the Pirates, 25 to the Scorpions. Here we see it from the tapes head on. Look at Mountain go across there and absolutely stop Newman's run. Off a gate that hadn't been working, gate one. So that was a great start from him. But Douglas was off of that gate three and he was straight to the grip. Big brave move from Anders Road to come around the outside there. There wasn't a lot of space down that back straight. On the inside in white is Jake Allen for the Scorpions. And he's starting right up against the curve. You can't get any closer than that, ladies and gentlemen. In gate two in blue is Zach Cook for the Pirates. In gate three is former Pirate Nathan Ablett. And he's starting right over against get Zach Cook's gate there. And in gate four is Ben Cook for the Pirates in red. I'm sure Rob Godfrey would have been absolutely over the moon if you'd have told him that after he ate, he would have a two-point lead here at Wimborne Road. And the Scorpions are good for it. Let's not forget that. Here we go. Heat nine. It's underway and away it's gone. And it looks like the Scorpions have made a good start again. But coming up the inside is Zach Cook. And now coming around the outside is Ben Cook. Ablett was there, but really got a little bit caught in no man's land. So it's Zach Cook. No, it's Ben Cook, sorry, now takes after Jake Allen. Zach will probably let Ben go and have a little chew himself to see if he can bit by Allen. Allen was lightning at the start again then. Oh, he's, Mike's lifted a little. That's allowed Ben to come up the inside of him. Ben's going to give him a little dodge here. No, he's not. There's not quite enough on the inside. You can bet your bottom dollar Allen will stay tight now. He stayed a lot tighter. Ben looks the quicker rider. He's coming up the inside of him. He's going to have to go the big one around the outside. Allen has taken an inside line and drifted out, but there just doesn't seem to be anything out on that wide line for Ben Cook this evening. And as we come to the tapes, to win for Jake Allen in white, followed by red, followed by blue. And just coming over the line at the back is yellow. It's another three all heat score. Here's our heat nine result. It's a win for Jake Allen, a vital win and a three points for the Scorpions. In second, Ben Cook for the Pirates in red. In third in blue was Zach Cook, his brother. And in fourth, not too far off the back was Nathan Ablett in yellow. The match score after the match score after heat nine is 26 to the Pirates and 28 to the Scorpions. Here we are, it's Max Clegg. He'll be on the inside for the Scorpions in yellow. In gate two, in blue, will be Anders Rowe for the Pirates. In gate three, will be Simon Lambert, Captain Simon Lambert, and the captain's innings he's actually producing tonight in white for the Scorpions. And in red is Steve Worrell, captain of the Pirates. He's in gate four. It's coming to crunch time in the meeting. You don't want silly mistakes like that to cost you points. Heat 10, sponsored by nobody, is away. And on the inside, that's a good run from Anders Rowe coming up the outside there in white. Is Simon Lambert. Lambert's gone round row. Oh, he's got a big lift. He did well to hold on to that. 
But Lambert has stayed out there. He's not giving that up. He's riding it like he stole it. But it's the poor boys have ended up up front from that mishap from Lambert who just grabbed a bit of grip from somewhere and nearly launched him through towards the fence in turn three. But it's the Pirates holding on to a 5-1 at the moment. They've got a quarter of a lap to come round to the checkered flag. Worrell seems to be shielding Anders Rowe a little here. And as they come round, Simon Lambert's going to give it one last big blast, but it's the five. One is blue, red, white, and yellow. It's a maximum heat score to the Pirates. The fans here at Wimbledon Road enjoying that. Here's your heat winner, Anders Rowe, as he goes by. And he was shepherded by Stevie Worrell. Here's your Heat 10 result confirmation. It's first for Anders Rowe in blue for the Pirates. He was backed up by his partner in red, Stevie Worrell. In third, the hard-charging all-try in Simon Lambert in white for the Scorpions. In fourth was Max Clegg in yellow for the Scorpions. So the results now start to turn round. The heat, the match score after heat 10, it's 31 to the Pirates, 29 to the Scorpions. The Pirates lead by two. Here we see it off the start. Anders Rowe made a good one. Lambert got in the mix and managed to shut Worrell off there. Stayed out wide. Goes for the big one round the outside. No guts, no glory. And then just picks up like he hit a brick or something. It's, it's horrible. How he stayed on was superb. On the inside, there's Justin Sedgman, sorry, in red. On the inside for the Pirates. In gate two, in white is Ryan Douglas for the Scorpions. In gate three, in blue is Kyle Newman. And in gate four is Jake Allen. Here we go, it's Douglas away off of gate two. That one had the best stats earlier and he's used it to his great advantage. Newman going around the outside. Oh, the Pirates getting in each other's way. Jake Allen now coming into the mix at the back. That's where all the action is. Pirates are gonna have to try and team ride this one home. Sedge is looking over his shoulder to see Allen flying around the outside. Oh, he squeezed him up against the boards. This is for a solitary point from a guest for the Pirates tonight. Sedgman goes out wide. He's left the gap up the inside. Douglas has gone at the front. We haven't seen him since turn one. He's head and shoulders above the rest. He's long gone. There he is, just in the front of the shot. All the action here is at two, three, and four. Douglas in a class of his own. He's going to win this one in white. The Pirates look to be coming home. Blue, red, and yellow. So what a race that was at the back. And it's that man, Douglas, again, providing all the spoils. It's a three-all heat score is the result. Douglas comes through there with a lovely wheelie. Heat 11 result, first for Ryan Douglas. The wheelie king there, he was in white. He wins it for the Scorpions. In second was Kyle Newman. The jet change obviously made it good for him. He gets up two points for the Pirates. Third was Justin Sedgman for the Pirates. He was in red. And at the back was Jake Allen, but not for the lack of trying. The match score after 11 heats is 34 to the Pirates. 32 to the Scorpions. All the action there at the back. Sedgman realised he was under pressure there in red. Really close the door, squeezed Allen up. 
Here's the gate stats. And again, we can still see only one win from gate four, one win from gate one. Gate two, as I said earlier, when we saw Douglas on it, we knew that was the good gate this evening. It's head and shoulders. Gate six. The six wins from gate two. There's only been five wins from the other three combined. Here's our team scores. Some Steve Worrell, six plus one. Anders Rowe, six plus one. Ben Cook, four points from three for him. Zach Cook, four points plus a couple of bonus from him. Sedgman, been a good guest. He's seven plus one for him. Carl Newman, six for him. And Adam Roynan had that engine failure in his second heat, so that's affected his overall score. Just the one for him. Douglas, look at all those threes on there, and he's still got rides to come. So here we go, Heat 12, sponsored by Fry's Electrical Limited. In gate one, it's Ben Cook in red for the Pirates. In gate two, it's Connor Mountain. In gate three, in blue, is Adam Roynan. And in gate four, is the hard charging Simon Lambert, captain of the Scorpions, he's in white. Here we go then, we await Christina Turnbull to press the tapes, press the green light. Our referee is ready to go, our riders are ready to go. We're up and away with Heat 12. It's a good start on the inside from Ben Cook. He's being followed round in blue, but right round the inside in yellow goes Connor Mountain. But a big one from Royden round the outside means that he's drifted a little wide. So Mountain, he's gone round him again on the start straight. Adam Royden, you beauty. How hard was that? He never gave that up. Fair play to Connor Mountain. There was no dirty riding involved there. All good and fair, but whoa. Adam Royden, you had an engine failure last race. What are you doing, man? It's Ben Cook out front in red. He's gone. All the action here with one lap to go is Royden and Connor Mountain. Unusual to see Lambert at the back. He's been brilliant all night tonight for the Scorpions. Mistake from Royden's let Mountain get close. But what a move. It's red, blue, yellow and white. 5-1 heat score to the Pirates. Crowd go bananas. Carlito, our DJ, puts on Hey Baby. And the fans are on their feet here at Wimborne Road. They love that 5-1 heat advantage. Here's the confirmation of heat 12 result. It was a win for Ben Cook in red in second, followed home by a Absolute hard work for Adam Roy, and it wasn't an easy second place. In third, Connor Mountain. How hard did he try to make it difficult? And in fourth was Simon Lambert in white for the Scorpions. So, the running the match score after heat 12. It's 39 to the Pirates, 33 to the Scorpions. The Pirates open a six-point lead. We see here. Big move, but on the inside, Connor Mountain just finds a lovely bit of grip after the track grades. Clever from the young man. And then Royden just kept it on, but he went in on that slippery stuff so deep into turn three and four. Mountain then comes up the Harvey Avenue on the inside. On the inside, in white, not been headed tonight, is Ryan Douglas in white for the Scorpions. In gate two is Steve Worrell in red for the Pirates. In gate three, Jake Allen in yellow for the Scorpions. And in gate four is Justin Sedgman for the Pirates. What a stern job he's done. But here we are, it's this week, and it's a similar scenario. The meeting is still tight. The Scorpions are still in this. Tate's still away, but he's 13, and Douglasson 
Worrell on elbows there. Douglas gives Worrell a shove. Allen gets underneath, leaves a little gap around the outside. Allen up on the curb. He's got one on the in, one up on the grass. He had one wheel there in turn four up on the grass. Worrell now having a good look at Douglas. Found a bit of speed. Sedger at the back trying to do something about getting around Jake Allen. He's all over him still and looks the quicker rider at the back. He had to sort of shut off there. You can see the front wheel wobbling. He's trying to scrub the speed off because Jake Allen had locked up in the middle of the turn. It looks like Douglas is away. He's going to pick up his fifth win of the evening. But it's all about at the back now. And it's Sedgy will go for a big one round the outside. Jake Allen has tried to stay tight, but it's a win for Douglas in white. Worrell in second in red, third was yellow, fourth was blue. The Scorpions are just not going away. It's a 4-2 heat advantage to the Scorpions as a result of heat 13. They close the gap to four. And here's the confirmation of heat 13 result. A win, the fifth win tonight for Ryan Douglas in white. In second was Stevie Worrell in red for the Pirates in third. And a good third and important third was Jake Allen for the Scorpions in yellow. And at the back was Justin Sedgman, but not for the lack of trying in blue. So the match score after heat 13 is 41 to the Pirates, 37 to the Scorpions. We see the action here. It was elbow to elbow with those two. But it was sneaking around the inside came Jake Allen. Put all sorts of problems there for Worrell, but Worrell just dropped his elbow and just sneaked under his handlebar. And then tried to get Douglas on the inside. Douglas then has a look. So here we go on the inside in gate one is Kyle Newman in blue for the Pirates. In gate two in white is Max Clegg for the Scorpions. In gate three is Zach Cook. In red for the Pirates, and on the outside is Connor Mountain. In yellow for the Scorpions. So even if you get a good jump, you do then tend to spin up on the on the smooth bit that has no dirt. So that's for the next race. Who picks where? But this is for this race. Heat 14, Maven Properties Limited, and away it goes. And it's a good start from the Pirates. Newman looking over his shoulder and waiting for Jack Cook to come. And there he is alongside him. One and three working like a charm there. But keep your eye on the rider in white. And that's Max Clegg. He looks to have pace in this one. Zach has got out of Kyle's way and headed off at the front. Can Kyle hold off Max Clegg? Kyle Newman knows this plate at the back of his hand in blue. He's changing his line on every lap so that the rider behind him does not know which direction he's gonna go. Mountain goes in on the inside. Kyle opts for the dirt on the outside. He's got half a lap to hold on for a big, big 5-1 in this meeting to the Pirates. It's a win for Zach Cook in red, then blue, then white, then yellow. It's a 5-1 heat score to the Pirates. You can't do any better than that. It means league points for the Pirates, and it's how many now will all depend on heat 15. Here come your maximum duo with two of the worst wheelies I've ever seen in my life. But here's your Heat 14 result. It's a win in red for Zach Cook for the Pirates. In second, Carl Newman had to hang on there in blue to get his two points. In third was Max Clegg. He tried everything he knew in white to get past Newman, but in fourth was Connor Mountain. So the running score after Heat 14 is 46 to the Pirates, 38 to the Scorpions. The Pirates open an eight-point lead.
On the inside in red is Ben Cook. In gate two is Ryan Douglas. They know that's the good gate. He's in white for the Scorpions. In gate three is Steve Worrell in blue for the Pirates. And in gate four is Jake Allen in yellow for the Scorpions. And he's right out under the fence. He's trying something different. Off that inside to trouble Dougie. Try and get Stevie back under the pair of them. All will be revealed over the next 60 seconds. Heat 15 is away, but Dougie's made an absolute perler. Ben's there, half a bike length behind. Worrell looks to have a bit of speed around that top turn. He's now going high and wide to take on Dougie. Jake Allen is coming on strong at the back as well. But it's Douglas who looks to going to be picking up his sixth win of the evening. An 18-point max for him. Ben Cook has now got in front of Steve Worrell. And he's taken chase to Dougie. But I think Dougie's fresh out of here. He's got a lap and a half to go to hit that 18-point max. And what a rider this fella is. He really is. I believe he can do this at any track. We've seen him being very, very special tonight. And he comes home for an 18-point max in white, red, blue, and yellow. Well, he's a little toast. He comes over the line and certainly uh, half a grudge. Uh, fantastic effort on behalf of Stunford tonight from the flying Aussie. Here he comes, showing lots of appreciation, ladies and gentlemen. It's not often you see full maximum. It's Ryan Douglas. Here comes Dougie. Like I say, he helped us out when Stevie Worrell was not available the other week. Here's your Heat 15 result. And match score at the end. It's a win for Ryan Douglas in white. An 18-point max for him. What a rider, what a star, what an evening. In second, in red, was Ben Cook for the Pirates. In third was Steve Worrell in blue. And in fourth was Jake Allen. So, your match result for this first league meeting here at Wimborne Road of 2023 was 49 to the Pirates, 41 to the Scorpions. Here's the team scores this evening. Stevie Worrell, nine plus two. Anders Rowe, six plus one. Good nine points from Ben Cook. Zach Cook, seven plus two. Justin Sedgman, what a good guess, seven plus one. Kyle Newman, eight plus one. And Adam Royden with his heroics, three plus one. And on the Scorpion side, Ryan Douglas, 18 point max. Not often you see all those threes along the line. Uh, Simon Lambert battled for his seven points. Max Clegg, a couple from him. Jake Allen, again, rode his heart out for eight plus one. Nathan Ablett, on his return to the Pirates, failed to score. And at uh, number seven, Connor Mountain, he picked up six. So all that's left to say from everybody here at Pirates TV, thanks for watching us, thanks for joining us. Our main camera, Robert Hayward. Roman camera, Paul Haig commentator Scott Mitchell never heard of him stadium presenter and interviewer tonight Rob Dyer producer and director our boss Andy Haig his support Katie Mitchell and thanks to all those that help us continue to bring all this for you it's good night from here at Wimborne Road from Pirates TV